So you may notice a lot of hair coming out when you're in the shower and why does that happen? Does it mean that all your hair is gonna fall out? You're gonna look like me? <laughs> and that's what we're talking about today. So hair when it's wet is at its most kind of vulnerable, right? The elasticity, uh, it's a lot more flexible in the sense where it could break a little bit easier and that's when you may be experiencing the most hair loss and also when hair is wet it appears to be thicker because a bunch of hairs are kind of binded together from the water so they're all all holding on for dear life so you may you know see more of it and it may look like a lot more is coming out than actually really is i mean traditionally and there's so many different variables on this but people can lose you know 100 hairs a day maybe less maybe more and it all just comes out from just natural shedding. Whether it's, you know, you maybe causing breakage to your hair, maybe you're combing it improperly, maybe you're always constantly pulling like this, or especially if you have longer hair. So what happens is when you go wash your hair, all that hair is compacted together like this. This hair almost looks like it's wet. It's all compacted together so that when you're rinsing, it's all just gonna basically look like it's a big clump of hair when essentially it could be, you know, a few dozen hair strands or so, but it looks like, oh my God, all my hair is coming out. So another reason is when you are, it's basically your way of shedding your hair, but you're seeing it in a more obvious way because of the water and how it's making the hair more compact, as I mentioned. And also when you're in the shower and if you're using a comb, for example, which I don't suggest, but if you're using a comb like this, and you're just combing through and you're ripping out hair from your head, you could be actually creating more hair to come off your head or you know, rip from the scalp because of the way you're improperly combing your hair. Always, always, always use the wide teeth. Always do it when you have conditioner in your hair so you can get out the knots. It's very important to use conditioner if you feel like your hair is knotting all the time. You're gonna use 25 spray, but don't be afraid of using conditioner because it can really, really help you, okay? But if you're using the fine teeth of the comb and you're just ripping through, you may see a lot more, maybe even twice as much hair coming out because it's the hair that already is supposed to shed and then new hair that you're ripping. So with the wider teeth, there's more space in between the teeth, so it allows you to get through and glide through your hair much easier. I have my, this is my vent, this is the vent brush that I sell on my website. When I tell you, and, and just so you all know, everything that I promote and that I have on my website, I, I, they're all my products, or except for this one, this is the only thing that's really not under my branding, maybe hair clips, okay? Uh, but really, essentially, I'm using every single thing. I don't promote or try to educate you all on products that I'm not using. I use every single thing on a daily basis, including the blow dryer, my shears, the combs, this, everything. So I know that if it works for me as a professional, it'll definitely work for you. So this is a, a vent brush that has a rubber handle so you have better control and it's an anti-static vent brush. So even if your hair is dry and you're trying to comb through, that one maybe will help get rid of the shedding that's normally supposed to come off of your head and not rip hairs out of your head like that. So comb through with a vent brush in the shower, use a wide tooth comb, anything you can use with wide teeth so you, you don't add any more breakage to your hair or rip out any more, okay? So basically, that's what it comes down to. Uh, that's why you're seeing it a lot more in the shower because it's all just kind of coming together as one and the pressure from the water is also kind of pushing it away. So. Don't be afraid, don't worry. If you start seeing clumps and clumps and clumps and clumps, like stuff that's not normal, and you start to notice that your hair is feeling, or your scalp, you can see your scalp more, your hair is feeling thinner, it's not as thick, it could be hereditary, it could be a number of things. But I would definitely keep an eye on it. If you are interested in purchasing any of the products, use code YouTube20 at shop.thislong.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.